Well, Hills, I guess it's lucky I didn't help you rehearse. If you'd gotten the part, you might be the one stuck on the monster spaceship. So really, there is no reason for you to be mad at me. Right? Excuse me? You were late. And you didn't help me rehearse, and you made me feel bad about my performance. Oh, hold up. I didn't know I was going to have car trouble. Plus, you asked me for my honest opinion on your performance. Yeah, thinking you would be supportive. Uh, guys, maybe we should just all... Look, if you ask me for my honest opinion, that's what you're going to get. And if you don't know that about me, then I guess you don't know me very well. And if you can't see that you're hurting my feelings, then you don't know me at all. So what then? Maybe we each need some space. Are you saying we're done? Fine then. Are you, are you okay, Haley? Yeah. Actually, no. Hey, uh, we'll catch up with you guys, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I still can't believe it. All this time with Kelvin, and it's over. This is the worst day. Can you believe he said all that stuff about my performance? Actually, Hales, it's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. You are a good performer. There's a but coming, isn't there? But. You were a little over the top in your audition. Did Kelvin tell you to say that? No, actually. It few of us were thinking it. So Kelvin was right. I just didn't want to hear it. Still, he didn't even show up to help me rehearse. Yes. But Hales, he's a lot better than he used to be, don't you think? Maybe I was wrong to be so hard on him. Maybe. <sighs> I'm such a fool. Thank you, Sarah. Mm. I hope I haven't ruined things between us. I've got to fix this. I'll call him. 